We know things like NAC, for instance, is shown to reduce virus replication. So that's very powerful. So when you're, when a virus kind of gets into your cells, it replicates and that's how it creates symptoms. The viral load has to replicate. And if you have nutrients in there like NAC and or glutathione, that's going to prevent that virus from replicating to higher numbers. So very, very important there. And of course, the higher the viral load is, the more you can spread it. If you keep the viral load down, the less chance of spreading an infection. So that's powerful there. And, and you and I take on that NAC. ongoing. Yeah, you and I yeah. take that ongoing. We do, uh, depending on what's going on, we're not telling you to do this dose, but what you and I are doing, at least I know for me, uh, I've got a combo product. So we're using uh, glutathione, give or take a couple hundred milligrams per day of an S acetylated glutathione, which in studies is just as good, if not better than liposomal, because with liposomal, we have some really sensitive people, me included. I don't really do well with ethanol and a lot of the alcohol that, that is in some of these liposomal formulas. So I personally stay away from those. I like the acetylated. I feel great with it. It works very, very well papers prove how well it works. And then about a gram, give or take of NAC. So that's kind of my ongoing protocol. And also for toxin exposure, that also helps protect against the oxidative stress that also helps to deal with mold toxin. We know glutathione can help mobilize toxins. So that's something we use in detox protocols too, not even just for immune and viral support. 100%. And so virus replication, good immune prevent prevention, acute respiratory issues, all wonderful applications. I do about two grams a day of, glut of um, n acetylcysteine and maybe one to 200 milligrams of a glutathione, whether it's reduced <clears throat> as acetyl or liposomal, I'll kind of rotate between the two. So that's powerful out of the gates. Last and call. Kind of Let me make one what? comment on the NAC and then we'll move on. So mm -hmm. at the time of this recording, uh, Amazon has taken all NAC off of its marketplace. And there's many reasons that I could get into and probably get deleted for, but we'll just say that NAC is gone, but you and I, we work with professional healthcare companies. We do still have some availability. So we will put links in the show notes because this is something that I would recommend you have on hand. And if Amazon's going to take it away, at least we have it. So I think that's important to know. I think so too. I like NAC. Um, in my product, Detox Aminos, we have reduced glutathione plus some NAC in there as well. I know you have a product similar as well. We'll put links below so you guys can see that. And we're going to kind of divide up a lot of the compounds, like five herbal slash immune compounds, and then we'll kind of look at the nutrients. And I always tell patients, like, focus on the nutrients first, just because they're nutrients, like they have other roles in the body. And it's good there. So NAC and I think glutathione are going to be there. Uh, Low hanging fruit next is vitamin D. If you're not out getting enough sun or if you have darker skin, you're going to need some vitamin D. Vitamin D plays a major role with um, TH1, TH2 balance. It also helps mod modulate T regulatory cells, which keep your immune system in balance. A lot of studies showing people that have lower or higher vitamin D levels are more resistant to different viruses, infections. Our vitamin D also helps produce a antibacterial enzyme called cathelicidin, which helps decrease bacterial load. So there's a lot of powerful benefits of vitamin D. And of course, in the winter months when colds and flus are the highest, guess what? That's where vitamin D is the lowest on average because of the sun. So vitamin D is very powerful there out of the gates.